In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to conditionally render an element in a quick template depending on some Boolean condition. For example, imagine that this button here, you want to be able to show it or hide it dynamically depending on the value of a Boolean condition. Let's say that, for example, to keep things simple, we have here an extra input property, which is, for example, called show button. This property is going to be a Boolean. Now let's go ahead and let's destructure it here. And now using this show button flag, we are going to render or not this button to the template. Here is how we're going to do this. I'm going to start by removing here the code of the button from the template. Now, in order to do conditional rendering, we are going to need a JSX expression. At the beginning of this expression, I'm going to be adding here the condition that we want to test. In this case, the show button variable. Let's go ahead and let's use here a logical end. And here we're going to be adding the JSX node that we want to conditionally render. And I'm going to paste in here the code that we want to show or hide depending on this condition. As you can see, we are doing our conditional rendering just using plain JSX and nothing more. This is actually just plain JavaScript, if we think about it. And how does this work? How does this syntax work? Well, remember that when you have a Boolean condition and this operator, if this is true, then the expression is going to be evaluated to this part of the expression. This is much easier to visualize if we switch here to a browser and let's say that we define here a new message. Let's call it hello world. So this is just a string. And now if we have the expression true and message, so true being our condition that we are using for doing conditional rendering. And here is the second part of the expression, which is our JSX node. So true and message is going to be evaluated to hello world. And on the other hand, false and message is going to be always evaluated to false. So that's why the syntax for conditional rendering that we are using here works. If this expression is true, then this expression here is going to be evaluated to this JSX node here. If this is false, this is going to be false and it's not going to be rendered out to the screen. And with this, our conditional rendering logic is implemented. Let's go here to the parent component and let's fill in here the missing property. So show button, let's say that this is true. And in the case of the other two instances of hello message, let's set this to false instead. Let's go ahead and try this out to see if the logic is working. So as we can see for our first message, we got the button here correctly rendered. And for the other two messages, the show message button is not present. This say hello button was not being conditionally rendered. If we click here, this logic is still working correctly as expected. So as you can see, to do conditional rendering in quick, there is no need to learn any special quick specific syntax. All you need is plain JavaScript and plain JSX, and it just works. Besides conditional rendering, let's talk about another very common task, which is to loop through a list of elements in quick.